Night Night. I'm back. Mm-hmm. And guys, remember I told you guys last week that I was gonna be back again. This is the first time in a while, guys. I'm going to come back, back to back, back, not back to back, again and again. So, guys, today I love today's topic. I absolutely love today's topic. Why? You will know soon. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are having a splendid time. I've been having a great food week. Great! So, my lovely golden stars, I am quite proud to be kicking off a new series. And this series is one that I know I'm going to love because it's about dealing with feelings. Yeah. Dealing with feelings. And today, the topic is. I feel sad. I know the funny thing, guys, is on my way to recording this, I actually felt sad. Yeah. I woke up today feeling a bit, you know, do you ever feel like that sometimes? Like you just wake up and you're like, you're not sure, you're not sad, you're not happy, you're like, so, like we always do, guys. We're going to jump right into the video. I'll skedaddle and I'll be back. And if I come back, talk about it. So I'm jetting out. <laughs> Bye for now. Any luck? Not yet. I keep trying to follow the stick, but it gets stronger no matter where I move. We need to find it. If we don't, the smell's just gonna get worse. Huh. If found, return this punch card to Mike. What punch card? It's from a place called Bub Subs. I can take it back to Mike F. I wouldn't do that. Why not? Mike has some sad memories attached to that punch card. Emergency! Emergency! Red alert! What is that? It sounds like Mike. Emergency! Emergency! This is not a drill! What's happened? What's the emergency, Mike? Do you know the sub shop across the street? Sure. They're closing <laughs> Why? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is all about the saddest day at HQ. Now that's enough, Mike. That button is for emergencies only. This is an emergency. Closing a sandwich shop is an emergency? It's not just a sandwich shop, it's a sub shop. And it's not just any sub shop, it's Bub Subs, the best subs in the whole wide world, and it's gone forever. <laughs> now, now, Mike, let it on out. Well, he doesn't seem to be having trouble with that. They even had a sub named after me. It was called the Mike. I can't believe you're crying about this. And now, Harper, we all get sad. It's okay to be sad. We just have to remember that we won't be sad forever. I will be. I will be sad forever. <laughs> Is everything okay? Indeed. You've been at this computer for quite a while. I've had a lot of work to get done. And you've been awfully quiet today. I've been busy thinking. Thinking about what? You wouldn't be interested. <laughs> Try me. Since coming to HQ, I don't see my friends as much as I used to. And I bet you miss them. You know, Edison, Whenever I go through tough times like that, I remember. When I feel sad, God comforts me. That sounds like something Mike needs to hear. <laughs> it's good news for anyone that's feeling sad. Me? 
you think I'm sad, but I'm not crying and wailing and turning on alarms. Mike's the sad one. <laughs> sadness shows up in many different ways, but every sadness has the same remedy. Let me guess. When I feel sad, God comforts me. You got it. I still miss my friends, though. Give us some time. God will come through for you. I promise. And I haven't talked to them in two days. It's just an impossible situation. Thanks for listening, Mike. What do you think I should do? Mike? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I, I was just thinking about my Bub Subs Club card. Your what? My Bub Subs Club card. Every time you buy a sub, you get a punch on your club card. When you get 20, your next sub's free. <laughs> I was two punches away. So you didn't hear anything I just said? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'll listen this time. What's up? It's about my dad. We got into this huge... Mike! Were you still not listening to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about Bub's sub. Oh, brother. <laughs> Mike, are you feeling any better? A little? <laughs> well, maybe we can find you another sub shop. No other sub shop is gonna make my signature sub the mic. Well, why don't you just make it yourself? That's a great idea. It's really nice to see you perk up, Mike. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> By the way, what's in a mic, Mike? Well, let's see, uh, ham? Salami, chicken, uh, Swiss cheese, American cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, pickles, and jalapenos and red gummy bears. Ew, no wonder they're closed. Oh no, this is a white sub roll. So? It's supposed to be a wheat sub roll. <laughs> does it really matter? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Bob subs, two more punches. Enough about Bub Subs. Some of us have real problems. I suppose you want me to go apologize to Mike? <laughs> that would be good, but first I'd like to know what's wrong. I tried to tell Mike what was going on, but he didn't even want to listen. Well, Harper, I'm here to listen to you. What's got you feeling so sad? Me and my dad got into a big fight. About what? My dad got a new girlfriend, Angela. And you don't like Angela? I mean, she's all right, I guess. It's just my dad doesn't have time for me anymore. He's always spending time with her and doing things for her. Have you talked to him about it? I've tried but he doesn't even listen when I talk. He's too busy thinking about his new girlfriend, just like Mike's too busy thinking about Bub Sub still. Is it wrong for me to feel sad about this? No, not at all. I'm worried that it's wrong of me to feel sad or angry at someone that I love so much. We love our families and our families love us, but even they can make us sad. That was certainly the case with King David and Absalom. I know David was the king of Israel, but who was Absalom? Absalom was David's son. Here, let me show you. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This it's the light. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching me through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. Second Samuel. Of all King David's sons, there was one that he loved very much. His name was Absalom. Absalom was charming and had long, beautiful hair that people admired. However, one day, 
David did something that made Absalom so angry at his dad that he left. Absalom went to live with his grandfather for three years. Even though they disagreed with each other, David still loved his son and felt sad that he was so far away. After several years passed, David asked Absalom to return, and he did. But Absalom had changed. While he was away, he stayed angry with his father. That anger made him cruel and ungrateful. Absalom decided that he would be a better ruler than David and chased his dad out of his own court. For a while, Absalom got his wish. He sat on the throne and did as he pleased. His father David had escaped to the wilderness. He gathered an army to take back his throne from his son. He sent out his army with a mission to take back his throne without harming his son. Even though his son had stolen his throne, David still loved him and was sad that they were fighting. A battle happened against Absalom's army and David's army. During the battle, Absalom was killed. David had his throne back, but he had lost his son forever. Losing his son Absalom broke David's heart. Through all of the disagreements and fighting, David never stopped loving his son. He was hurt. David was comforted by his friends, and over time, God helped him overcome his sadness. So Absalom's actions made David sad, but he never stopped loving Absalom. <laughs> exactly. And when Absalom died, King David's sadness, it increased much more. But in time, God and the people around David comforted him. God is here for you also, and we're here to listen to you too. Edison, can you monitor for any incoming transmissions? Oh, and Harper, uh, the mail should have come in. Can you check to see if we've received anything? Mike, uh, how are those diagnostics going? And I'm alone. How are we doing, everyone? Still a little sad, Edison? I miss my friends. Harper? I'm still sad. Mike, are you still feeling sad? I'm fine. Okay, guys, I understand. It takes time, but maybe there's something that we could do to start turning things around now. Like what? Well, for starters, one thing you could be doing is maybe turning around. I don't get it. How's that gonna help? Well, maybe this Skit Vision Burst video can help you understand. Rodney, mm. do you have that movie I let you borrow? Mm. <laughs> Rodney, mm? why are you wearing sunglasses? Yeah, no, just, just, what are you just, up to? You know, I... Rodney, have you been crying? No, you've been crying? I've been crying. That movie's just so sad, especially the part about the little girl and the puppy. Aw, there, there, it'll be okay. It's just pretend. It's just a movie. I'm here. Thanks, Vanessa. That's awfully nice of you. I, I thought you'd make fun of me for being sad. Of course not. I remember how sad that movie is. I cried the first time I saw it, too. But you feel better now, right? Yeah, I'm not sad anymore, so I can help other people in their sadness. Wow. That sounds good. Like, good enough to be in the Bible. Right you are, Rodney. It's in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 4. Here, say it with me like this. 2 Corinthians 1, 4. 
2 Corinthians 1, 4. He comforts us in all our troubles. He comforts us in all our troubles. So that we can comfort others. So that we can comfort others. God comforts us in our sadness. Sometimes he does that by sending another person to help us out. And then we can be those people God sends to help others. Wow, that's cool. I, I don't feel sad anymore. Nice. Guess you won't need these anymore. And those were my sunglasses. Those were expensive. It's fine, probably. I still don't get it. I think I do. Just like God comforts us when we are sad, He wants us to help comfort each other. Exactly. When you tell someone who's sad about a time that you were sad, it helps them not feel alone. Knowing that God bought you comfort will help them believe that God will comfort them too. And even though I'm feeling sad right now, I know that I won't be sad forever. That's kind of nice to have someone to talk to. When I was sad, I used to go across the street and talk to Bub, and he would say the same thing every time. If you're not gonna buy a sub, then get out! Now that I think about it, he was not that great of a listener. Well, we'll all be better listeners, so who wants to go first? I think Harper should go first. I would love to hear what's going on. Thanks, Mike. That means a lot to me. So, the other day I was talking to my dad. Hi, I'm Edison, here to talk a little bit about sadness. We all get sad from time to time, but 2 Corinthians says that God comforts us in our sadness. Say it with me, like this. 2 Corinthians 1, 4. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. Even someone as strong and powerful as King David felt sadness. When his son Absalom left the kingdom, David felt sad. When Absalom came back and kicked David off the throne, David felt sad too. And when David learned that Absalom was dead, David felt especially sad. Mike was sad over losing his favorite sub shop, and he let everyone know it. Although I didn't show it the same way as Mike did, I was feeling sad also. And so was Harper. Brave reminded us that it's okay to feel sad and that the sadness won't last forever. And in the meantime, we can help each other deal with our sadness. It's important to remember that when I feel sad, God comforts me. We can then go out and comfort other people if they are feeling sad. I hope that helps you if you're feeling sad today. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I can't believe a closed sub shop made Mike so sad. I know, I was really surprised by how much he loved that sub shop too. But I'm glad we were all there to help each other deal with our feelings until our sadness passed. I know it meant a lot to me to have everyone's support. So you think it's best that we don't remind Mike of Bub's subs anytime soon? Yeah, I don't want to make him sad all over again. Oh my. What? That's it, that's the stink. What should I do with it? Hurry, throw it away. <sighs> Has anybody seen my sandwich? It turns out there were a few more stinky foods in those cubbies. Jake nearly passed out a couple times. I really need to have a talk with people about cleaning out their cubbies. We all go through times when we feel sad, but the good news is God is always here to comfort us when those times come. If you want Jesus to be with you no matter what, you can make that choice today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you made that choice today, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. So. That was quite an emotional episode. First off, I can relate to how Mike feels. His favorite sub shop. I can't imagine if my favorite pastry shop should close off. No pastries, no cake. But it's okay, it's okay guys. I hope you guys paid close attention and you enjoyed it. So now I'm going to dive right into it. What does it mean to deal with feelings? What are feelings, first of all? Feelings are kind of like emotions. And what are emotions? It's, uh, let's put it this way. 
when you feel angry, anger is a feeling, sadness is a feeling, happiness is a feeling, love is a feeling. And today we're talking about being sad. And like I started, I said, on my way to this recording, I felt a bit sad. Because I woke up today and I wasn't sure. I'm like, huh, what day is it? Oh, I gotta go to work. Hmm. But it wasn't working on making me sad. I wasn't quite sure. Then I started listening to. I watched the Connect video and yeah, it helped in explaining a number of things. But I still felt a bit sad. Well, one thing naturally moved me up was close to the end of the video where we learned the memory verse, which is the book of Corinthians. Is it the first or the second Corinthians? Which one? Which one? Which one? It's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4. So the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4. And, you know, when I read it, it really made me smile because it made a whole lot of sense. And the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4 says, He comforts us when we are troubled. So that we can comfort others when they are troubled. God does this. So God comforts us when we are troubled. So in return, when others are troubled, we can comfort them. And then it goes on to say that we can give them the same comfort that God gave us when we were troubled. Wow. Absolutely wow. And you know, I read that and I got to the office, I got down. I was listening to some music, walking in, strolling. Yeah, it was okay. And for some reason, I got into the office. I saw my colleagues and we started talking at me. Up until now, I didn't even remember I was sad. And you know, guys, for me, that is what it means to have people. And dealing with feelings. You know, it feels like we've been talking about this a lot. But it's just to show the importance of having the right people around you. Having the right support system around you. When you have people that you can share. You know, I tell my friends this. That when they're sad. Because sometimes you need to know when someone is sad. Sometimes it's the way they reply. The way they talk. The way they look. In fact, sometimes the way they dress. You just know that something is wrong. And I say one thing. I say, share your body with me. Share. Okay, sit down. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Because I found out one thing, guys. When I'm sad, and there are times I'm really sad, and I just, I just close my eyes and I just tell God that it feels like there's a dark cloud around me. But I don't know what's going on. Because there are times you might not be sure why you're sad. Something might have happened, but you might not remember. And I just thought, God, Lord, please take this dark cloud away from me. And then after that, I have strong people around me that I talk to. It's the beauty about talking, guys, is when you talk to someone, when you talk to a friend, when you share your burden, you find out that by just telling them, you feel a lot better. It's kind of like how I feel a lot better. Like, I remember why I was sad. But now it's like, hey, it doesn't matter anymore because I'm sharing with you guys. And that's what it feels like when you share. Usually when you have the right people around you, you have the right friends. And these are friends that share with you and you share with them. It makes life easier. It doesn't mean you'll be, you won't be sad immediately, like you'll be happy immediately. I mean, I'm happy now, but I still remember when I was sad. And let's say I'm like 80% happy, 20% sad. Or in the long run, maybe before the end of today, I'll be good. And I won't even remember at all. And that's how it is, guys. It's not easy. It's hard. But when you have people, you have God, and you have people to help you. It makes it easy. So that's why we're here, guys. When you're sad, God comforts you. So the moment you're sad, you talk to God and read this verse. Yes, the book of first or the book of second Corinthians chapter one verse four. Always read it. When you read it, 
that you share with someone and then that same person helps you it makes it easier guys just imagine that all you need to do when you're sad is talk to god she makes you feel better you help someone else and it's exactly it's amazing guys it's, it's simply amazing so that's why we're here that's why you have friends you have to listen to them because sometimes when, you, when your friend is sad or you are sad they tell you their sad story and you feel somewhat better when you listen sometimes all you need to do even before you talk is you just need to listen to someone else talk it's amazing how talking makes things better it really is amazing guys it is oh, amazing amazing and another thing i learned guys is from this story is the book is um like the story of david and his son absalom when someone upsets you or makes you sad don't get angry you need to find a way to accept the fact that okay yeah to be upset me but yeah what he did wasn't nice lord help me forgive him Fine, I forgive Toby. And even if Toby doesn't come back to you to apologize, still be nice to him. One day he'll come around. You need to because the thing is, guys, when you're angry with someone and you're sad about something and you don't tell them and they don't know, you hold up a whole lot of anger in you and then you go around grumpy. You don't want that. You really do not. Because imagine you're grumpy, I'm sad about how Toby treated me. But he doesn't even know. Then every time I see him, I'm like, oh, he shoots. But he doesn't even know. So, there are very important things we learned today. When you're sad, talk to God. God will make everything better. And two, realize it will take time. It's not like you turn off the switch. Nope. And turn it back on. Enough. Nope, it doesn't work like that. It takes time sometimes. <laughs> it takes time sometimes. It doesn't always work instantly. It might take a process, but then sometimes you enjoy that process. But just know you will not be sad forever. You cannot be sad forever. You talk to God. You get a bit better, or even a whole lot better. Read this Bible verse, the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 4. And then if you have really good friends, talk to them about it. Who knows? They might. You know, sometimes the, there's a funny thing is that some of the things that happen to us have happened to other people. So you feel sad about you fought with your mom. Maybe you tell one of your friends, she fought with her mom also. And then she tells you how it all played out and how she resolved it. That's the funny thing about sharing, guys. When you share, you find out new stuff. So guys, talk to God when you're sad. He listens. Read this Bible verse, 7 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4. Share with a good friend if you have one. And watch how everything will just be cool eventually, guys. So, we've come to the end of another episode. I don't feel sad. I'm happy because I'm going to see you guys again soon in like soon and I want you guys to always read this Bible verse because there are times that you might not be happy every day in fact you might have sad moments every day but if you read and study this particular Bible verse you have it at the back of your mind whenever it happens you just say quiet say may you feel better so study read your Bible have fun guys love everyone and enjoy have an awesome week guys have i disappeared hmm. i'm hungry
Abi, where do you think you're going? Stay out of my way. I'm going to play football with my friends and there's nothing you can... Silence! You think this is funny, eh? You can get the deadly coronavirus. The gorilla virus? No, the coronavirus. Do you know what will happen when you do? Do you? Do you? Huh, what will happen? You will bring the coronavirus home and then infect everyone. Mommy will be sick, no more jollof rice. Huh? Daddy will be sick, no more going out to see movies. Oh no, not the movies, no! Even worse, the government will come and take mommy and daddy away. Ah, uh, you're just making it up. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. See for yourself. With soap and water so we can prevent it from spreading. Boo! <laughs> stay home, stay safe from all of us at Ant Hill Studios.